the Amiga Seamaster tier list. What's my favourite? What's my least favourite? Let's get into it. But first, I'm not a watch expert, I'm just a watch nerd, so anything I say, don't take too seriously. Everything I say is my own opinion and is embellished for comedic purposes in these tier lists. And I'm not representing any organisation or any company, and this is my opinion. I'm not getting in trouble this time. <laughs> so, if you have an opinion as well, go down into the comments, let me know. Whilst you're down there, why not like, subscribe, ding that bell icon so you never miss another video, and why not click that join button? We'd really, really appreciate it. So, let's get into it. Amiga Seamasters. First of all, we have the Seamaster Aquaterra World Timer in the summer blue. Um, I must say, we're not going to include every reference, every colour, because we spent a long, quite a while trying to, like, distill this list down. For example, we don't have a lot of the Shades collection, we don't have a lot of the women's pieces, we don't have a lot of things, and we still have 40 plus watches. The Seamaster line is huge, so if we missed off a watch, just pop it in the comments and I'll give you a tier, okay? I will tell you what I think it is. But first watch, we have the Summer Blue Seamaster Aquaterra World Timer. That is my favourite World Timer that they do. I think, I think it's, it's banging. It's absolutely top tier banging. It's like boom shakalaka banging. It's like, yeah. Um, there's a few reasons for that. One, they don't have the greyed out cities for daylight savings time. Um, and I just love the colour. It's twinkly, it's gorgeous, it's lovely, and that dial is intricate and beautiful. So, bang in. Uh, lacquered white dial, Seamaster 300 meter. I'm gonna have to speed through these. That was the agreement me and Terry came to. Lacquered white dial, Seamaster 300 meter. I like it, I really like it. Uh, I'd say it's good. See good. See? Good. I'm gonna be. I'm going to struggle to be critical about a lot of these. It's going to be a little bit brutal. So many of them are sort of middle of the road. That's boring though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's bad. Ooh. It's bad. What about the Seamaster Diver 300 meter James Bond 60th anniversary one with the little lenticular thing on the back where it's him walking across the barrel of the gun. That's Godmaster. I just spoiled it by putting it in Godmaster before I even started speaking about it. But it's Godmaster. That watch is so cool. The bracelet's sick. The colour is amazing. They brought back the old wave pattern for the dial, so it's not the new laser etched. Love the new laser etched, but the current case and build quality on the case and everything with that new wave etching is gorgeous. Love that watch. Boom shakalaka. And the Seamaster 300 meter in green, dark green, forest green, greeny green. I like it, I like it a lot. If I was to get a Seamaster 300 meter, it would either be the summer blue or the green. And for that reason, I think it's one of my favorite green watches and I think I'm gonna put it banging. It's a banging watch. It's bang-a-langin', okay? Ooh. That watch is bang-a-langin' and I like it. It's cool. The No Time To Die. Um, I have a complicated relationship with No Time To Die. I think it's really good. I think it's, but I think it's very overpriced at over 9,000 pounds. That's a lot of money. Compared to a normal Seamaster 300M, which is five, six on a bracelet, I think at the moment, or 5,600 pounds. I deal with pounds on this channel. So honestly, at that price, I'm gonna say it's good. It's middle of the road, yeah. Now we get into our first Planet Ocean, and it's a Planet Ocean ceramic. The Planet Ocean, the 600 meter version, not the Plopra for the Ultra Deep, I'm not a big fan of. I like it, it's really cool, but would I ever buy one? No, I wouldn't. I'd rather get a 300M if I was gonna get like a really big chunky watch, dive watch, there's other watches I'd rather get. Um, so I, and I'm not a big fan of the ceramic either. I think it's really cool. But because I'd never buy one, I'm gonna have to start being a bit brutal here. It's meh. It's meh. I'm sorry, it's a meh. And the steel. To be honest, all the Planet Oceans, they're really cool watches. They are sick watches. But the overall styling and stuff, I don't like them. So it's a meh from me. On the ceramic, the all black steel, 
the black and orange steel. It's a meh on all three. And the Planet Ocean Chronograph. I'm going to be really savage to the Planet Ocean Chronograph. This is going to be really... Sorry, my nose is really itching me. I have to take it out for work. So I... And when I just got home from work, I had to shove it back through. I think there was a bit of scar tissue. So I broke that. Oh my God, it's so itchy. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. That is not blessed. Or should I say, Brian blessed. I'm gonna save that impression for later on in the video. Because every reaction, every tier list must have an impression. So today it's Brian blessed. <laughs> Terry's laughing. So, the Planet Ocean Chronograph, uh, unfortunately it's C in the bin, the blue. Um, I, I just don't, I'm not keen on it. It's in the bin. It's, it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the Ultra Deep, the normal Ultra Deep, I think is really, really cool, because it's got that black fading into blue. It's like an Omega James Cameron, and I think it's really sick. So that can go in C good, because, I'd rather that to the James Cameron, to be honest. I'd rather the Ultra Deep to the James Cameron, but I still wouldn't get one because it's just a bit too big. But I think it's really bloody cool. And I think my favorite version of it is the Summer Blue Ultra Deep, which is up next, which I would get. So that's going in Godmaster. The reason I get that is because I think the dial is super, super, super cool, okay? Because it's got a 3D relief of the Marianas Trench, which under UV light shows, I think it's 10,911 meters or something. That number was straight out of my ass, so don't quote me on it. And that's, and it says Omega was here, and it's just poking fun at Rolex because they beat Rolex, so I love that watch. I think it's really cool. I would get it. It's super cool. Next up, we have the green. Aquaterra world timer. I like this watch. I think it's really cool. It, it's got one problem, the green bezel. I don't like the green bezel. Why couldn't they have just given it a steel bezel? For that reason, it's going in meh. It's going in meh. And yeah, I have to be brutal. I have to be brutal, but I don't like it. I just don't like it, okay? The plain blue planet ocean, 600 meter. So the normal planet ocean, it's, it's my favorite of the Planet Oceans. Undeniably, it's my favorite. So that's gonna go in Sea Good. I think it's gonna be the highest rated Planet Ocean 600 meter on this list. Um, so it can go in Sea Good. Uh, with the blue, uh, lower than the blue. I prefer the black, but it can live in Sea Good with the blue, okay? Not gonna be horrible to the Planet Ocean, but that's my favorite of them. The new gray, um, that's like a boutique edition. Um, the new grey, it's not really something I'd thought about before. Obviously, it looks cool. <sighs> but I'm gonna put it in there. I mean, it's cool, a bit plain for my tastes. And this is my opinion. It's So you, you can't go into the tier list. You can't go into the comments and tell me I'm objectively wrong because this is my opinion based on my preferences. People have tried to tell me I'm objectively wrong in the comments before. I think you're objectively wrong. No, Terry, you're objectively ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but... Well, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, the grey is, is giving me sort of all titanium Chrono Master vibes from Zenith. Um, and I was, uh, and I was famously rinsed for my opinion on that. Um, not famously, the channel isn't big enough, but it lives rent-free in my head, the reaction to that video. Now the Heritage, the Seamaster Heritage, I think that's a cool watch. I think it's cool. Um, so that's gonna go in, that's gonna go in sea good. That's gonna go in good. What about the Summer Blue Seamaster Heritage? That's gonna go in banging. Bottom, bottom tier banging. But I really like the Summer Blues. That's three Summer Blues that we have in like Godmaster or banging now. I think that says something about the summer blues. And the case backs are beautiful, so that can case live there. Are yeah. And the Railmaster. Does it belong in the Seamaster tier list? Probably not, because it's not really a Seamaster. But it the Railmaster is discontinued now, but I wanted to throw it in because it doesn't get enough love. It's it's master chronometer rated. Same um water resistance as a Aquaterra, except it's just cool. It's different. It's a different sort of aesthetic. It's a bit plainer. 
and it's it when it was available it was really cheap compared to the Aquaterra. Aquaterra is around six grand. That was like four, four and a half. So for that reason, for being actually a great value for money, Omega, which you can actually pick up for really cheap now, even though it's been discontinued, I'm gonna put it top tier banging. I would get one. I would get one. I'd rather get that than Aquaterra. I thought it was awesome. Railmaster, bring it back, please. And the Pro Prof, the Planet Ocean Professional. It's cool. It's got a shark proof bracelet. Wow. What an interesting, useful feature on a watch. Shark proof. But my God, is that watch ugly as all hell. Christ alive, it's ugly. And for that reason, it's going to go in C and a bin. Have they tested it on great white sharks? I have no idea. What makes it shark proof? Would a shark just not swallow it and spit it out? I don't know, but I've been told it's shark proof. And it's. And for a watch that ugly, it's only water resistant to, I think, 1200 meters. You'd think that watch would be water resistant to like a million, but because they've made it that ugly. No, they could make a watch that's so much prettier than that with the same feature set, but no, they choose to make it ugly. And I know some people like the Pro, Pro Prof, but it's very much an acquired taste. It's not for me. If you like it, cool, sick, I love it. I but it's just not for me, okay? So see in the bin, great feature set, really cool, but I hate to look at it. <laughs> Next up we have an Aquaterra. It's just an Aquaterra, silver dial, small seconds. I love the small seconds, um, but it's just see good. It's just, I love the Aquaterra, but it's just a bit plain sometimes. Green, small seconds, see good. We're gonna have a lot of see goods. Is that, is that black? Yeah, that's black. The plain black dial Aquaterra with that. Yeah, that's banging. It, it's a cool watch. It's so versatile. It's so cool. Um, it's less sporty than some of the Aquateros um, at that size and that dial configuration. It's just a cool watch. It's sick. Next up, we have the Titanium World Timer. So it's got the same issue as the green in that the bezel's the wrong color. It's dark titanium bezel. Um, it's just not nice. It's just not nice. I'm so sorry. I just, I just don't like it. Uh, so that's gonna be a meh. It's gonna be a meh from me. I mean, I love the World Timer. That's my least favorite of the World Timer. So we've got a World Timer. We've got two in meh. One in banging, two in meh. So that's cool. What about the white silver dial Aquaterra? Again, just not for me. So that's gonna go in meh. That's gonna go in meh. I'm being savage, savage. You like Savage. The plain blue dial Aquaterra, like the dark blue. I think that watch is really nice. It's really cool. So where's that gonna go? Where's it gonna go, Terry? You choose. <laughs> no, you're not choosing. Fuck you, it's not your list. <laughs> you didn't give me a chance to speak. <laughs> see good. Uh, yeah, that's gonna go top tier see good. I'd rather get it than anything else probably in the see good. Um, but yeah, so that's a cool, uh, that's a cool ass watch. Ooh, and now we have the 41 millimeter Summer Blue Aquaterra. As you may have been able to tell, I'm a sucker for the Summer Blues. And this watch is blessed. Hello, I'm Brian Blessed. <laughs> I can't even. Okay. I hate they know who Brian Blessed is. Yeah, if, do you know who Bri Brian Blessed is? Have you seen Blackadder? Have you? He was also in Star Wars. He was the green guy that went, <laughs> You saw go in the bongo. <laughs> oh, that dude. In episode one. Phantom Menace. Yeah, Phantom Menace. Oh, Jar Jar's a big doo doo now. <laughs> yeah, so that's my Brian Blessed impression. Hello. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's probably never coming back because I can't do it with a straight face on camera. So the um, Summer Blue Aquaterra, that's that's gonna go in Godmaster. I really, really like it. And the dark green is gonna go in Sea Good in 41 mil. It's gonna go in Sea Good, there we go. Um, the 41 millimeter blue, sort of a middle blue, that's gonna go in Sea Good as well. Just fly through a couple of lots of Aquateros. I mean, what did you expect? It's a Seamaster video. The 38 millimeter green 
It's blessed! I actually really like it. It's a great size. It's fuck. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I like it. Godmaster. Godmaster. It's a great size. I love it. And the... Oh, my God. And I really, really like the... 38 mil summer blue aquaterra i think the bracelet is beautiful because it's like it's like a presidential style bracelet and the dial's just beautiful um so that's gonna go in godmaster as well what about the 38 millimeter black banging it's a banging watch i really like it it's super cool um that's that's let's keep speeding terry likes this speed terry's i like, I like the speed speed through uh the white dial, but sort of black contrast indices and stuff. Uh, 38 mil. Sorry, I'm really struggling to like read these. Um, 38 mil. We're gonna say that is. Huh. I haven't thought about this. Oh, it's see good. Yeah. See, very middle of the road. 38. Uh. Uh. See good. See good. I mean, it's a bit plain, but I like it. The plain black Seamaster 300 meter. It's banging, it's banging. Bottom tier banging, I'd get it, I'd wear it. It's cool, it's a plain, nice watch. I think it's, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I didn't see what that was. I thought it was a plain black Seamaster 300 meter. It's a Seamaster 300M chronograph. That makes it, I do not like the 300M chronograph. See in the bin, in the bin. I don't like the Seamaster chronographs. Okay, not for me, no way, no how. They don't make sense to me, they're too big, they're too chunky. So that, both both the Seamaster chronographs are in the bin. I understand why someone would like them. I get it, I fully do. They're great watches in their own right. But are they for me? No, would I ever spend my own money on one? No, there's other things I'd rather get. Okay, can I be more balanced than that? No, so don't come at me. My opinion, remember that. Not representing any company or organization. Uh, right, this next one is a 34 millimeter. Um, it's part of the Shades collection. In this, I'm going to include the entire Shades collection because there's a lot of them, different sizes, different everything. We could probably do a tier list only on the Shades collection. Let's be completely honest. We're not going to. Can I just make that clear, Terry? Terry's there like... <gasps> no, it's not gonna happen, okay? Good, chill, 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 chill. Shades collection. Um, I mean, my opinion does differ between them. If you were talking about like the Saffron or the Terracotta, um, I think those watches are beautiful. They go in like banging or Godmaster straight off, um, especially in like the, the sort of in between sizes. I think they're stunning. Overall, I'm gonna put the Shades Collection in good. So let me, let me preface that by saying I think some of them are absolutely beautiful. Overall, it's it's sort of middling. It was just some cool, funky colours. It was essentially just to compete with the funky coloured OPs that have now been discontinued. Um, but yeah, actually, no, I'll put them in banging. They're, oh, no, that's Godmaster. Yeah, so overall, the Shades collection is going in banging. Bottom tier banging. But I think they're really cool. I'd especially get the Saffron, actually, now that I think about it. The saffron's a sick colour. Um, if you don't want it, don't know what it looks like, Google it. It's cool. The original plain dark blue Aquaterra World Timer. It's good. It's 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 the middle of the road World Timer. The reason for that is the bezel's the right colour. They haven't decided to go all funky with the bezel to match the dial. Just do a plain steel bezel. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, that's. Well, that's one of the main reasons I love the execution of the Summer Blue World Timer. The bezel's the right colour, okay? Cool. Cheers. I can't see what that is properly. I think it's the original Master Chronometer certified um, Aquaterra with the vertical striping, which that says like 15,000 Gauss on the dial. That's what I think it is. That's what I'm going to assume it is. And actually it's a really cool watch because it's sort of a milestone. If that's what the picture is, I made the list, so I should probably know what it is, but we'll, but I'm a moron, I'm a mong, I'm a spastic, I'm a retard, um, offensive words, so we'll gloss over that. If it's the watch I think it is, it's going to go in banging, because it's a really cool, important heritage piece. Next up, we have a solid 18 karat gold Aquaterra. Um, my 
god. So it's a solid Sedna gold, which is Amiga's rose gold, Aquaterra. I'm, I'm, I'm deciding between meh and C in the bin. It's going in the bin. Is this the very expensive one? Yeah, it's, it's solid freaking gold. Is it 57 or in the I, 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 I can't remember. It's not a watch I've ever had to look at for a client or anything because nobody wants it. Um, no one that I know, at least. I don't think it's made for the UK and US markets, though, to be completely fair to it. Um, which explains why me, living in this market, being part of this market, doesn't really like it. Um, if you like it, cool. I mean, solid gold watches are amazing. They're an acquired taste. They are incredible to feel in the hand. It's just not for me though, okay? I'd probably like it more if it was white gold or yellow gold. Yellow gold's cool. I just don't like a rose gold watch, so we'll skate past that one. Uh, the Titanium Seamaster with like the black rubber strap with red contrast stitching, um, gray dial, it's a meh. I just don't like it. It's 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 an it's another acquired taste watch. So we have four left. Um, first up is a Seamaster 300M Chronograph. So that's in the bin because it's a Seamaster Chronograph. I'm sorry to any fans of the Seamaster Chronograph. I don't know anyone who's a fan of the Seamaster Chronograph. I never see it covered anywhere. Never see it talked about. And I think that's just because it's. <laughs> Ceramic Seamaster 300 meter. That's actually a really cool watch. That's actually really sick. Um, so that's gonna go in banging. That's good. That's a banging ass watch. That's a that's a banger. That's actually a banger. Um, it's really cool. Would I buy it and wear it? Possibly. Possibly. If I had lots of watches and lots of money, there is a chance I would spend my money on that. Um, because I think it's really cool. The plain black Seamaster 300 meter, I already said this earlier, that's going in banging because it's a great versatile watch. It's like this, it's like the Submariner of the Omega range, essentially. It's their black, plain black ceramic bezel diver. It's sick, I love it. And last but not least, definitely not least, it's the Summer Blue Seamaster 300M. It's it's a sick watch. Um, it's a got. It's a beautiful watch. We've done a full review on it. In the description. <laughs> In the description, but Knox, so I never remember to do that. Um, it's going Godmaster. It's a lovely watch. The my relative who bought one. Um, I'm so jealous of him. It's a beautiful watch. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Absolutely. Bless it. <laughs> Stupid fat accent. Ah. There we go. Just, just reel them off. Throw in a, throw in a garden. Turn to page three ninety four, Potter. Do you want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. Where is she? I like to move it, move it. I like to move. King Julian! Oh, get away from me, Mort. Oh, look at my crown. I am the king of Madagascar. Oh. You want to save some for the next one. Yeah, you? I do, yeah. Get with the best ones out. Shall I do an entire video of King Julian? Why not? Let's do it. Ha oh, ha, yes, oh, look at the crown. It's got a gecko on it. Dance, gecko, dance. So what do you... What do you think of my tier list? Oh, it's very good, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Maurice. I, I, yeah, that was a fun tier list. I'm gonna get rinsed for this, for my hate of the chronographs, for my disdain towards the planet ocean. But hey, I love the ultra deep summer blue, so that's something for, for the planet ocean, because it's a sick watch. They're just not my taste, okay? Let me know specific references you want me to rate down in the comments, pop the reference, I'll just give you a tier. I might not even think about it, just might just, auto generate a tier why not just really get some people angry let's, re let's really rile up the beehive um so yeah go down into the comments whilst you're down there why not like subscribe ding that bell icon so you never miss another video and why not click join that would be cool and whilst we're on the topic thank you very very much to our channel members on screen now you guys are the absolute best and the ogs and to everyone else 
You know what I'm going to say. Watch yourselves.